In the third part of our video, we're going to focus on the CFD modeling and execution. So for this purpose, we are going to transfer the data to new CFX and uh, we're going to use CFX pre to set up our model uh, but we also need to connect our volute mesh as an input to CFX as you can see the, the mesh right now needs to be updated so we do a right click hit update it's again going to quickly uh, go execute the mesh once it turns uh, to a green check mark we can then go ahead and uh, do double click on the setup button and call CFX all right so this is going to pop up uh, the pre CFX pre window uh, as you know uh, this is essentially a uh, the software uh, to set up the case and uh, what we see is uh, the two separate volumes uh, for the volute and the one eight sector of our blade uh, and you know when I look at this one thing that looks concerning is there's this overlap region uh, between the two domains and you know ty typically this is a problem in CFD but you know, not in this particular case, and I'm going to explain that why during the mesh, during the uh, setup phase. So let's go ahead and uh, start with the setup. Uh, for this, let's go to tools. We're going to go into turbo mode, which is going to uh, make our life very easy in terms of setting up the configuration. Uh, our machine type is a pump and uh, we're going to be rotating about the z-axis and we're solving a steady state problem so i'm going to hit next and let's uh, start defining components so r1 when i click on it picks up all both of the ones uh, but what i want to do is click on here available volumes and i want to pick the passage and also it's rotating at 2000 RPM I apologize uh, 1600 RPM and let's uh, put a minus up front to correct the rotation direction and uh, we also want to add another component so we go to components right click Add component uh, and we're gonna do a stationary component which is our volume so we go to our available volumes we're gonna pick B75 which is highlighted and then we can hit next it is time to define our uh, working fluid and some boundary conditions uh, so we're going to use water as our working fluid uh, it's always good to do the p total inlet and mass flow at the outlet uh, so we're going to do per machine and it's 300 meters cube per hour which translates to about 83.33 kilograms per second and we're going to hit next and here uh, for interfaces uh, we're, we're seeing this message uh, and uh, you know it gives a warning because there's a mismatch as here you can see uh, there's an overlap between the two domains but uh, you know we're going to say hey just go ahead and create the interfaces anyway and then we'll of course go ahead and check these interfaces later on so let's hit yes here and keep moving on So next step is we can enter general mode so this wraps up our setup and let's hit yes to the warning and it seems like actually we do not have a have an error we 
just have some warnings and uh, what we want to do is check the interfaces so uh, let's look at so this is our inlet block our periodics which makes sense and then the critical one is this connection between the rotating and the stationary components and it seems like created a correct interface uh, between the two blocks next let's uh, take a look at our solver control let's put 500 iterations uh, let, let's uh, stick to the auto uh, time scale uh, control uh, with three, three orders of magnitude reduction let's hit apply and close this uh, actually concludes uh, the setup phase so what we can do is uh, go ahead and uh, start to execute the case I'm gonna shrink this window and uh, go to our menu click solution which is going to uh, bring up uh, the uh, CFX solver manager so this will be a new window that pops up and here uh, what I want to do is uh, I want to use double precision I'm going to uh, run on my machine I'll ask for just four processors and uh, I'm going to hit start run and uh, see how our run goes and uh, looks like that there's a problem so uh, what we want to do is go ahead and check uh, what the problem is and um, seems like the window crashed so the output file indicated there was some memory allocation error and uh, it suggested to uh, go uh, insert a, an expert parameter uh, called uh, topology estimator factor ZIF and, and this happens uh, from time to time uh, and uh, what you can do is go under expert parameters convergence control turn on topology estimate factor ZIF which is by default 1 and you want to make it 1.2 typically so let's make the change hit apply hit ok shrink our window and then we're going we want to edit our solution uh, br bring the solver window again now that we made the change let's start the run again so th th this was the error previously that was mentioned I was talking about so it's clearly indicating what the fix is in the CFX solver manager and uh, you know, I was able to go ahead and make the change so now the run is underway as you can see it's putting in iterations and uh, you know it's going to run until convergence or up to 500 iterations and uh, then in the last part uh, section of our video uh, we're going to talk about the results thank you